So cruising around, I found this crazy piece of history that I'd share. At this park downtown Orville, look what I found. This is a Liberty Pole. I don't know if you can see everything it says on there, but at the top it says, Truth, Eternal Vigilance, Liberty, Union, Equal Justice, and Duty. It's a Liberty Pole. Look at this. Pause it there if you want to read it, but I'll just tell you about it. So what is a Liberty Pole, you might be wondering? Um, it was a rallying point for the opposition of the Stamp Act. What is the Stamp Act, you might ask? <laughs> There's also people that work here, so that's a little bit awkward to be here, but we're here. So we're going to keep going. Okay, so the Stamp Act, I googled this, so I'm just going to read you what I googled. Uh, in 1765, Britain wanted revenue from American colonies by composing a stamp duty tax on all newspapers and commercial documents. The colonies weren't having it and they repealed it in 1766. So I think for a year, Britain was imposing taxes on the American colonies and colonies weren't having it. So they rebelled and they erected these posts or poles in different cities where people would get together and rally also on uh, occasions like Flag Day or 4th of July, any kind of stuff like that. They were hanging out at the old Liberty Pole. Also interesting little factoid I found was between 1791 and 1794, Pennsylvania farmers used them as symbols during the Whiskey Rebellion from uh, for like three years. So farmers would erect these poles to say, we want our whiskey. I don't know if it worked. I think it did, but anyways, Liberty Poles, they totally symbolize our liberty and independence from Britain. Um, I guess France liked them so much that they went ahead and adopted the Liberty Poles during the French Revolution. So, what a trip. This Liberty Pole was the very first Liberty Pole in the West, put here in 1857. I know, it's just a pole, but it means stuff. Over here, there's the, uh, the old town well. Check that out. This is where people used to come in Orville to fetch water. Cool as that. Right next to Liberty Pole, so you would hang out here. There's a little dummy sign here to tell you all about the historic community well. How cool is that? Go ahead and pause it if you want to read. But, yeah. How cool is that? Very cool. And over here's some uh, some bricks. I know bricks are exciting, but these bricks are from the first Butte County Courthouse, and it was erected at this site in 1856. How cool is that? 1856, huh? Right here in this cute little shady park, downtown Orville. I'm sure this park has a name, but I don't know what it is. So. Ooh, I see a mural too. Let's go check out this mural real quick. It's, um, Ishii. Look at this. No, maybe it's not Ishii. Maybe it's Ishii? I don't know. It doesn't say it's Ishii. I think there was a bigger mural here at one point, but it's gone now and look like something interesting on this side Let's see what we got mm. not really sure what this is 
used to be a mural, some kind of strange artwork. It's like, oh, Native Americans, Native peoples. It's strange because you can't really make out what these are very well. There's a rock, but nothing posted on it to tell us anything, so that's no fun. <laughs> 